Hi, I'm Albie, and this is my MIT Maker Portfolio video. My story starts back in the sixth grade when me and my friend Tristan decided to make a Roblox game. All the online resources that I wanted to use involved me using open source free code that I didn't write, and I didn't want to do that. I thought it would be completely pointless for me to sit down and spend hours on a game just to use free code elsewhere. And that turned out to give me a huge advantage because it gave me the skills I needed to work on much bigger projects later. That mindset of developing every individual piece for the sake of learning has stuck with me up until this day for my current project, AlbiOS. The first version of AlbiOS was super bare bones. It booted with Grub and only took you to a single character. AlbiOS booted in BIOS mode, which is a slower and outdated and less secure version of the current UEFI boot mode. That bootloader was written in C, and when I tried to boot it, it took us to kernel panic. I had to rebuild the virtual VRAM and switch virtual machines in order to get it to boot. The bootloader worked well, but for the sake of my project, it couldn't be used alongside the virtual machine. So I had to save the code for later when I tried to boot on real hardware. So from there, I just started adding more kernel functionality. This functionality included my Vegas script for printing characters and my string library. After that, I needed a working file system. The file system started off very simple with just two objects, files and directories, which contain pointers to other files and directories, along with their name and their contents. I could use the structure of the files and directories to create a root directory, which stored all the other information on the files and directories. This, however, caused an issue where if there were too many files or too many directories, Grub wouldn't boot because of an overflow error. This could have easily been solved with some sort of memory handler, and since I have to write all my own functions, I had to write my own kernel out. The commands I'm typing in are controlled by Alsh, a command line script I wrote similar to Bash. And this is the current state of the system architecture. Thank you.